Does your look need some updating? Well, Julie's look certainly did, and we gave her a complete beauty transformation. She's received a makeover from top to toe, and hopefully you at home can pick up on some useful tips to help you create the younger you. I'm on top of the world, now I'm living, and the good just gets better, keeps on giving. Not even close to the end, it's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah. And if the good, I won't even worry anymore. To call my care, still can kick them all out the door. Go on a try, come and tell me what you're waiting for. Move and keep them going until your life is overflowing, yeah. Welcome to The Younger You. Today on the show, we're talking all about fashion and beauty. You'll get amazing tips from our fashion and beauty experts. Later in the episode, we'll meet Julie, who received a fantastic makeover from the Marinello Schools of Beauty. But before we meet Julie, let me introduce you to our first guest, Nick, who is our resident fashion expert. Hey, Nick, how are you? Doing good, how are you doing? Fantastic. Okay, there's five particular types of body shapes that we need to worry about. So let's start off with hourglass. What is the best type of accessories and fashion to wear to reshape your body? Most people I say, especially with the shaping of it, to go with tailored fits. Some snug, more snug? Tailored a little bit snug, okay. more like a 50s type outfit. Okay. Nice secretary dresses, nice tailored snug fits. You like wrap dresses? Wrap dresses and wrap blouses are wonders in an hourglass shape. It really pulls that fit together for you. Okay, rectangle. Rectangle. Sounds a bit scary with the body shape. Yes. Straight so, up and down. So av avoid, avoid, avoid vertical lines. So okay. vertical stripes and vertical lines. Um, a-line works really well. Really? So A-line is going to give you more of a flattering shape, especially okay. so with more a of a sweetheart shape. neckline. Sweetheart neckline works really great as well. It points more eyes towards the cleavage and bust, and it also breaks your proportion so you don't look as up and down or ah. wide. Okay, so when you're talking about rectangle, wearing it a belt, like a bigger belt, will actually break it in it half? It actually breaks your proportion. So when okay. someone's looking at you afar, you look 50-50 instead of all leg or all torso. Okay, I think most women hate this body shape. It's called the pear. So I tell people, um, you're definitely gonna wanna do drop waist. Mm. Um, a drop waist skirt, a drop waist lower jean line will work really well. Also add heels and wedges for the height. And you were saying about layers. Layers. What if it's too hot? So you can still create layers with jewelry. Okay. So multiple ah, layers gotcha. with your jewelry, with lightweight scarves. Um, and then in the winter, um, a sweater with your camisole underneath with a blazer will really pull that okay. look in. Inverted triangle. Okay, this Ow. is a great one for strapless. So if mm. you have an inverted triangle body shape, a strapless dress will look great on you. Strapless tube tops, tanks, all those um, really pulls in the figure flattering of your bust. Darker tops? Darker tops, absolutely. Um, darker tops and then color blocking will work really well with this. So do um, a darker top, like a navy blue on top with an off-white bottom. Um, it'll look really contrast. Okay. You've, on your notes, you're saying balance your shoulders with peplums? Yeah, so um, it's one of those things from the 50s that's a throwback, but it's hitting fashion really hard. It's been doing it all, a lot of years. But um, a peplum, it's just a lot of skirts and blouses where you fan out this top part, so it looks like it's a mini layer on top of the skirt or the shorts or the pants where it starts. Okay, final one, apple. Definitely do a tunic cut. So the tunic that is more of a dress that hits about mid-thigh, so it's not really a dress, it hits about mm. mid-thigh, that helps accentuate certain areas. So wrap tops and blouses to accentuate a smaller waist? Absolutely. So you're going to want to do everything you can to narrow in the waist. So pull in a wrap top, a wrap blouse. Um, hourglass and apple are very similar looks. Okay, um, but one, hourglass is very voluptuous, isn't it? Yes. And very what curvy. we used to see is Marilyn Monroe. When you say apple to me, I just see round. Yes, so that's why you can still pull in the wrap blouses, you can still pull okay. in that 50s look with it and it will work really well, okay. but the tunic cuts are what really work for it. Thank you, Nick, it's always good advice and thanks, thanks for popping in. The biggest fashion tip that women need to know is how to wear a little black dress, as if you didn't already know, but I'm gonna throw over to Heidi as she's gonna show you how you can update this wardrobe staple. Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to talk to you about updating your little black dress. Little black dress is an item that every woman has in their wardrobe and I'm going to show you how you can change it up so you can wear it on different occasions. So the first and most simple thing you can do is just add um, a pop of color with a statement necklace. Second item that we, we want to show you is the printed bomber. The printed bomber is so much fun and it's so in trend right now. It's a great way to just make it very casual and very fun. 
Another great way to just make your little black dress fun and actually extremely useful is um, adding a little twist by pairing it with a sneaker. If you're feeling like your little black dress is just a little boring and you wanna change it up a little bit, um, the best thing to do is just add a pop of color. If you're more of a preppy person, I have an idea for you as well. You can take just a fun, basic or printed colored um, dress shirt and layer it underneath your black dress. You can pop the collar, you can pop the cuff, and it's a great fun way to just be a little quirky um, and wear it to work or out with your friends. Um, just changes up your little black dress, makes it a little bit different for you. And those are just some basic tips on how you can update your little black dress. Up next, we'll meet Julie and find out how she should be dressing. Then we're heading over to Marinello to give her a brand new do. It's giveaway time on The Younger You. Enter for a chance to win a Blendtec Express Blender and the new Blend Fresh product pack valued at $850. Be sure to head over to theyoungeryou.tv forward slash contest to enter. Looking for the perfect beauty product? Each week, The Younger You highlights a standout product in the health and beauty industry. Head over to theyoungeryou.tv and check it out. Love to hear your comments. Before the break, we showed you some easy fashion tips, plus how to dress for your body shape. Now let's meet Julie and see how she applies those rules to her new look. Julie. I'm 48 years old. I have five kids and 11 grandkids and twin grandkids on the way. I think my fashion style and sense is just comfortable, cozy, laziness sometimes. <laughs> I feel that I dress, sometimes I dress younger, sometimes I feel like I dress older. It depends on what I'm doing. Having a stylist would make me feel like give me more confidence to um, buy my clothes and be able to pick out the right outfits that go together. She'll teach me or he'll teach me how to coordinate clothes and stuff like that to make me, my body shape look better. I'd be really unhappy if you put me in orange. <laughs> Julie, I love the outfit. What do you think of the color? I wouldn't normally pick this color, but I really like the color. Awesome. So what about the leggings? How do you feel about, I know you normally wear jeans, so how are you feeling in these leggings? They're really comfortable. I like them. Now tell me about the boots. Would you have worn a heeled boot? I wouldn't normally wear high heels, but I love boots, so I'd be willing to try it. <laughs> we did this color because it brings out your skin tone, you thins it up a little bit as well, but this blouse cut really it accentuates your bust. Um, through our troubled areas like our tummy and our midriff through here, it really pulls us over to more of a tunic cut. Okay, Julie, so the reason why we cho chose the leggings is to just give you more proportion to your outfit. Right, right. that's right. So Heidi nailed it. What it does is it also slims out your leg a lot. So, um, and then it pulls into this heeled boot. So the heeled boot, all together, it gives you height, makes you height, weight, proportional. Everyone wants to be a little bit taller. Right. Um, makes it all together a really great defined look for you. It makes you a little taller because yeah. short people <laughs> like us, we need to be tall. We do. <laughs> I'm going to show you a quick skin and hair mask that you can make using items found in your own kitchen. Start by mashing one ripe avocado and mix in one tablespoon of honey. Apply to your face and rinse off after 15 minutes. This same mixture can also be used to soften your hair. Just heat it in a microwave for 30 seconds, apply to damp hair, then rinse after 15 minutes. You'll want to follow this up with your usual shampoo and conditioner. So next time you need a quick skin fix and have no time to head to the spa, just open up your kitchen cupboards. So Julie, we know that we hit it on the last outfit. Right. What are your thoughts on this outfit? I like the outfit. I'm not too sure about the shoes. Okay. But I like so, the outfit. What I love about this outfit is we did, so the last one was a really blousey style top to cover up our tummy. This one, um, because you said your tummy was your troubled area, is we did a tunic top. So yeah. we know for your cut and body type, we can't do a shirt here at the hip. We need to do it here, mid thigh, halfway down our bum, and that's the cut we're looking for for you. I just get concerned about my midsection, because it's always poking out there, you know? <laughs> it's hard to find clothes to fit right. 
As Nick and I already discussed, it's important to know your body shape when trying to figure out how to dress. Julie here has an apple body shape. If you're an apple, you want to make sure you go for a dress that highlight your bust and skim over your tummy without clinging. Wrap dresses look gorgeous as they help create the illusion of an hourglass figure. Nick had put Julie into a tunic top. These shirts work great on an apple figure. They skim over your problem areas and add length to your torso. If you're still worried about your midsection, you can go grab a pair of shoes to draw the eye down. This will divert attention from your stomach and make your whole outfit look fashionable. Here's a quick tip about footwear. Heels are a great tool to lengthen your entire silhouette. Just make sure you keep your head high and your shoulders back. Confidence is the key when walking in heels. We added this, this great blazer. It's an A like cut, um, which means it doesn't button and it doesn't cinch in and kind of pull. It creates just a slimming effect for you. And then last but not least, one of my favorite parts is these ponchy pants. So these are great. So in the last one we did leggings and they were right. structured and they were cute leggings. But these ones, these leggings, um, they're not leggings at all. They're ponchy pants. They stretch. A lot of people go down a size in them. But it's something you can wear to the office. It's something you can wear out. But it's more of a stretch, skinny, work pant than just a pair of leggings you're wearing. I'm most excited about getting out of this, about finding a nice outfit to wear for my anniversary dinner that's coming up. I just want to wow my husband for our anniversary. I think my husband would really enjoy this outfit. Oh, that's sweet. And that's, that's good. And if <laughs> yeah, you feel comfortable in it, then that's what's important. Yes. Now, I know that you said you were unsure about the shoe. I'm unsure, but... But it really <laughs> does add a little bit of fun. I know that last time you really loved the, the, the sassy boots. Right. Um, but this does add fun and color to your outfit. And then with this True. great blue blazer, um, it just adds some youthfulness to you. I think it's great. Um, I think it really knocks out some years on this. I hope watching Julie gave you a few ideas on how to spice up your wardrobe. After the break, we're heading to Marinello Schools of Beauty to start her hair transformation. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates on the show and join the Younger You conversation. Before the break, we were talking all about fashion. And now that Julie knows how to dress, it's time to focus on, of course, her hair. I've taken her to the Marinello School of Beauty so they can give her the best style for her face. Let's go take a look. Hi, Julie, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Lindsay. I'm the Artistic Director with Marinello. And we're ready for a change today. Yes, we are. Yes. With my hair now, I feel like it's just messy and don't know what to do with it. I definitely think that this block of color down here in your nape area, um, we, we need to go a different direction. So Julie, one of the reasons why we would do color blocking on the top is to add dimension, add depth to your hair. Okay. And we can get kind of a peekaboo effect with the color so that as the hair moves, you know, with that movement, you get a pop of color here, a pop of color there to okay. really add some interest to it without having to over process. Oh, okay. What aren't I looking forward to about my hair? I don't want my hair cut really short. We have got to make a change. We are cutting this off. off. We are going short. I haven't had my hair cut short in five, six, seven years, maybe. We need a new change, we need a new you. How do you feel? Scared. <laughs> scared? It's okay to be scared. It's gonna be a great look for you, it's gonna build confidence, and it's gonna be a new you, a new younger you. That's why we're doing this, right? Yes. All right. Let's get started. Okay. This whole situation with Julie, I have got my hands full. I am worried. She says she wants a change. I know she wants to stick to that old, you know, look that she's had for years. I really want to give her a, a short, easy, funky look and I think she's gonna go kicking and screaming the whole way. I only have 
have the best in mind for her. I know beauty changes lives and it builds confidence and I have such a vision in mind for her. She's got to trust us. She's got to trust us professionals. I mean, you wouldn't go to a doctor and say no to the prescription that he prescribed you. It's the same thing. We know what she'll look best in and hopefully she'll come along for the ride. She trusts me and, and will go with me on this journey in the direction and the look that I have envisioned for her and it all comes together at the final reveal. I changed my hairstyle quite a bit. And today it's straight, usually I wear it curly. My hairstyle would change probably every month. But as you can see, it can only go so far, right? Because I have short hair, so. My... I used to really have really short hair, and I've grown it out long, so it's been fun. I love to change my hairstyle, and I like to try to stay trendy, even though I'm older, but it's fun. Um, I usually change it every couple months, not really that often. I think it's very important to trust your hairstylist. The hairstylists that I go to, um, sometimes I say, oh, you do the, the color. Actually, I always wanted to go blonder, and she said, no, you need to be about this color. So I trust her. I think she knows what's best for my coloring. So I do trust her. I think people should trust their colorist. There was one time where I went in though and I'm pretty comfortable with my hairdresser because I go in to the same person every time I just went in and said surprise me and she came out and I look good so yeah I I think that if I don't have trust in my hairstylist then I probably wouldn't go to her <laughs> because I'd be like you're kind of have like this is my life right now I don't really have that much so I'm like I have to trust you with what I have so I'll have to trust them Julie's got a new outfit and a brand new do now we just need to see how it all comes together after the break, she'll be joining us in the studio so we can see if she pulled it off or not. It's giveaway time on The Younger You. Enter for a chance to win a Blendtec Express Blender and the new Blend Fresh product pack valued at $850. Be sure to head over to theyoungeryou.tv forward slash contest to enter. Welcome back. Before the break, we watched as Julie got a top-to-toe makeover. I'm excited to see her final look. But first, let's watch this great tip for a simple, everyday makeup routine. The first step in your makeup routine should be to moisturize. You always want to try to find a moisturizer with SPF. Today, mine is SPF 30. Next, you want to apply concealer. To find the right color, choose a concealer that is a little lighter than your natural skin tone. Remember, when applying concealer, less is more. Next, we need to apply foundation. The best way to match this to your skin tone is to utilize the skin at your jawline. Make sure to use a downward motion with your brush so that all of your facial hair is laid down. Next, you need to set the foundation with powder, then apply blush. For an everyday look, we're using a coral color. Apply blush to the cheekbone and blend out. Now we're moving on to the eye, which starts with filling in and defining the brow. Then you need to prep the eyelid with a primer. An eyelid primer will ensure that your eyeshadow and liner stays all day. Now we're ready for the eyeshadow. Today I've chosen a soft golden neutral tone. For more mature skin, make sure you stick with shadows with a matte finish. Finally, I'm going to finish off the eyes with some brown liner and a coat of mascara. When applying mascara, always follow through to the end of the lashes to give the most definition. Finally, we'll finish off the look with some chapstick. This will give the lips shine while still being casual. Yeah. <laughs> 
Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, I've been joined by Lindsay, the artistic director over there at the Marinella Schools of Beauty, and Nick, our resident stylist. Guys, Miss Julie's looking pretty good. <laughs> Julie, you look completely different. Yes, I do. How do you feel? Feel good. Do you? Yes, I do. I think you've lost a little bit of weight, but we're going to get to the fashion in a minute <laughs> because you look amazing. Miss Lindsay, what did we do here? Yeah. We wanted to really funk her up a little bit, yeah. give her some edge. Julie likes to have fun, and we <laughs> wanted to express that through her hair. Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> I Always. love the slices of colour that you've got in there, Lindsay. We did some panelling. Panelling is a good thing to do where you have that peekaboo effect. Okay. High maintenance to maintain that type of look? Not at all. Okay. Not at all because the hair lays over, so you don't see the new growth as soon as you would if it was on top. Got you. Talking about the shape that you've cut, one side shorter, the other longer, but still really textured. Yes. So we gave Julie this haircut because we wanted to focus the eye on her cheekbone and her chin. How often will she be coming in? Looks she's got a full head tint? Probably about, you know, six to eight weeks. Okay. What are you feeling with it? I like it. Are you? Yeah. Does it make you feel younger? A little bit. Okay. Oh, don't <laughs> like you. Yeah, whatever. It's whatever. looking all right. Still hey, young. Nick, when I saw Julie and what she looked like before you did the outfit, she looks a lot thinner. So it's an actual illusion dress. So this Show is me what you mean. Perfect for apple shape. Um, first of all, you've got these great cutouts. Yeah. Okay. Um, next, the double symmetricalness with the arms. Yeah. That's going to give the illusion. To not focus here. Okay. You're going to be focusing more towards this. The, also, the cut of the entire dress. So, if you look right here, there's this ribbed panel line. Yep. The panel and how with the heel, where her hemline's ending too. So, this is more of that tunic cut we we're talking about. How great it makes someone look. I think you're feeling like you, you love yourself sick. I like this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> did he do well? He did great. He did do well. Yes. But you're, you're, you're so excited, you almost fell off your heels there, darling. <laughs> Lindsay, if you remember correctly, Miss Madam over here was very resistant on having your hair cut short. <laughs> Hence why I was saying, how much do you love it? You're happy? She's like, yeah, it's cool. You forgot <laughs> that you were giving us trouble about no, cutting it. No, I forget. Oh, okay. <laughs> how important is it to actually get that through the client to begin with about trusting you? You the hairdresser. We deal with this a lot, and especially when you are wanting a makeover or need a makeover, it's important to be open and trust us and know that we, you know, have that eye and... Why do you seem so like, yeah, <laughs> you're the wrong people? It's like, do you trust us now? Yeah. Would you let us do whatever we wanted on you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. I Look would. at that trust you got there, miss. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the eyeshadow and what you've done with the eyelashes as well, because it's absolutely natural looking. I chose to go very natural with Julie because she is more mature. Actually, she has a strip lash on right now. Naturally, her lashes are really short, mm. and that really goes to open up the eye. And we just stayed really matte and neutral with the eyeshadow on the lid again to pop the eye out. I think it looks beautiful. A little tip that I was hearing about the other day is putting a little bit of white eye mascara just on the edge to make the eye pop a little bit more. White mascara, white eyeliner, or white shadow in the inner corners, in the center, and the outer corner. Ah. Team, you did a great job. <laughs> awesome. You pulled it out. Considering she didn't want short hair, she was a bit funny about what we were putting her in to begin with. Good job, Nick. Good job, <laughs> Lindsay. Thank you, Julie. Hey, when it comes to hair, I believe that rules should be three thrown out the window. There's no one-size-fits-all approach. Having a style that suits you will ensure that your look is always best for you. For more information about the show, please visit our website at theyoungeryou.tv and I'll see you next week. Next week on The Younger You, we're meeting Laurie and giving her chest a little lift. The Younger You set provided by Madison McCord Interiors.